What's up guys, welcome back. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Today I'll be showing you my wife's super delicious chocolate chip cookie recipe, or as we like to call them in our household, crack cookies, because you can't stop eating them. They're super addictive. Can't wait to show you, but before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, let's make it happen. We're gonna start by spooning in some all-purpose flour into our cup measure. We're going to use exactly two and three-fourths cup all-purpose flour. This technique is critical because as you guys know, baking is definitely a science. So you wanna be as accurate as possible in your measurements and spooning the flour in, into the measuring cup here and then uh, knocking off the excess with the back end of a butter knife is about as accurate as it gets. So we're gonna repeat that process for exactly two and three fourths cup of flour. As always guys, specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below. Make sure to check that out. Next, we're going into our next mixing bowl with one cup of melted butter, followed by one and one fourth cup of brown sugar and a half cup of white sugar. We're using a higher brown sugar ratio for this recipe because brown sugar is made from molasses, which is a bit higher in moisture and just gives cookies a nice soft and chewy texture. And everybody likes soft and chewy cookies. So that's why we're going with that. Break out your whisk and mix everything to combine. Going in with one egg and one egg yolk. You wanna whisk that in as well. You want your eggs to be room temperature also. Next, we're going in with one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch and one teaspoon of baking powder to our flour mixture, along with a pinch of salt and whisk those ingredients together. As you can see, we have our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients separated. Next, we're gonna add those together to make our cookie dough. Looking good. So right here, guys, you wanna go ahead and begin folding in your uh, dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. Add a little bit at a time. Break out that rubber spatula and just fold all of those ingredients together. Looking good. This recipe is so good, guys. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know if you plan on making this for Christmas or, you know, for New Year or something like that. Hell, I'd make this any day of the week. But be careful because, like I said, they are super addictive. So here we are just continuing to mix in our dry and wet ingredients. You want to keep doing this until it resembles cookie dough and all the flour is absorbed or until you get carpal tunnel, whichever comes first. Just a reminder, guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. Keep in mind that baking is definitely a science and you want to make sure you follow the recipe as closely as you possibly can. Now we look like we have some cookie dough developing just in time for us to add one half cup of chocolate chips, one half cup of white chocolate chips, and three fourths cup of toffee chips. The toffee is totally optional. If you're not a fan of white chocolate, you don't have to add that either. Really at this point, you have your cookie dough base. You can add whatever kind of chips you want. Uh, this is just a recipe that my wife uses and it is phenomenal guys. So I can't wait to share it with you. Let me know in the comments what your favorite cookie is though. I'm, I'm super interested in hearing that. All right, so just fold those chips in and then we're gonna pop that in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. You do want your cookie dough to be chilled because it does prevent spreading. So if you don't uh, chill your cookie dough first before you pop it in the oven, uh, you'll get those super flat, uh, you know, really flat wide cookies. And you know, it's just not as appealing to the eye. Still will taste good, but we're looking for presentation as well. So now we want to line a baking sheet with some parchment paper, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you wanna roll out your cookie dough into equal size balls, like so. And just repeat that process until you've used all of your cookie dough or until you've filled your baking sheet. And if you're like me and you have some leftover cookie dough, then grab one of these mini skillets and just press the cookie dough into it to kind of you know fill it. Don't overfill it because it will rise a little bit in the oven. Looking good. Giving you guys both versions. You got the, you know, the chocolate chip cookies coming out of the oven and then the mini skillets like they serve at the restaurants. 
you will definitely impress your house guests. You can get these mini cast iron skillets on Amazon relatively cheap. This is how we're looking when they come out of the oven. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Man, those look good. Little bluebell vanilla ice cream and a mint garnish. And you know I've got to try this. We gotta pour in a little milk. Oh man. These are dangerous, man. I'm telling you. Looking good. I got to dip mine in a little milk just for the taste test. Moment of truth. Those should be illegal. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and share this channel on your social media. If you do make any of my recipes, please remember to tag me. I love seeing what you guys make. Hope everybody has a safe and happy holidays. And as always, thanks for your support.